I'm Dara. I'm Romy. I'm Candice. And welcome to To Weave or Not To Weave. So, um, following with what our viewers have requested us in so many of our videos, we decided to make a video about Clamp. We had suggestions to watch some of their best works, and we decided to talk about why this group of manga artists are so important for this industry. So the clan production started with 11 women who um, were starting to do fan art and by 1993 it was seven and they published their first manga. By, by the early 2000s and even now it's four women who have made a big name for themselves in the industry. So these four women were successful in a male dominated industry. So, let's review some of their best works. So, from all of us, I think I am the biggest Clamp fan of all. As you can see it in the background. Most of all my figurines and my merch is Clamp related. And to be honest, my first manga that I got from them was Clover. It was my introduction to their wonderful way of telling stories. So what I'm going to bring you is a review of some of their earliest works. They started doing mangas like Angelic Layer and the one that I re-watched because I did watch it when I was younger is Magic Knight Rare. So this one is an Isekai actually and you wouldn't think that Isekais were started as early as the Nidus, but this one was released in 1993. It is um, a story about three girls being sucked into another world to help Emerald Princess to save Sephira, which is the magical world that is in chaos. So it is a mix of genres. It is isekai, it is fantasy, and even turns into a mecha. So as one of our viewers requested, I rewatched the series Magic Knight Rayer. And this is what I have to say. It does not survive the pass of time. Unfortunately, it is a little hard to rewatch. The dubbing is very awkward. I'll do my best to become a magic knight and save Sephiro. Hey, hold on a minute. You can't make such an important decision so lightly. Um, the voices get a little bit annoying sometimes. The pacing is very 90s. Um, and it's very, uh children friendly. And I guess that it would be a good introduction for children, but Think that it survives the. It, it, I don't think it will be a good rewatch nowadays. It is beautiful. The animation is really, really beautiful. They have so many details with the fantasy world. So, world building. It is a very fantastic world. Characters are very beautifully designed. The eyes, the hair, the accessories. The armors, the magical powers, it's very magical girl fantasy ASKI mix. So what do I think about this series? If you haven't watched it, it would be an interesting thing to watch. If you have watched it before. Um, it is an old anime, you gotta be a little patient about the pacing because it's not like today's pacing on anime. I think you will need a lot of patience to go through the 40-something episodes that this series brings. But besides that, artistically speaking, it is very beautiful. So if you like beautiful character designs, this would be a good thing to go and watch. Okay, so the clip anime that I was requested to watch was Chobits. So Chobits it is basically about a guy who comes from a small town as a farmer who goes off to college into the city and he first gets there and he discovers that people are walking around with these persicoms. So he decides that he wants one, he tries to go into the store, uh, he wants, he sees everybody with these persicoms. 
So a Parsecom is life-size computers. Uh, yeah, life-size computers that are like humans. They look like humans, they talk like humans, they're companions, but they're computers. They don't really have feelings and emotions. So he sees Oh, and they also have they, they they plug in all of your data and stuff like that. So it's like a cell phone, it, uh, it's like a call um, log and emails, all the extra stuff. They're good for stuff like that. Anyway, so he goes in. Oh, let me let me go back. I'm sorry. The main character's name is Hideki. That's the guy who comes from a small town is Hideki. So Hideki goes into a store where he sees these life-size Persicoms and he sees how much they cost and they cost the arm and leg to where he cannot afford them. So anyways, he goes into his apartment and he meets one of his friends and he figure out that he also has a Persicom except he has a miniature-sized Persicom and he uses that for personal um, personal things such as an alarm clock, a cell phone, email, texting, well, you got it. That's what he used that person come for. So anyways, um, he wants to know a little bit more about the person comes because he doesn't really know much about them. All he knows is that he wants one and he cannot, uh, he cannot afford them. Anyway, he goes out, he tries to find a job, and he runs into a person come that is actually abandoned in the middle of an alley. He gets the person to come, he brings it inside the house, and he attempts to try to get it turned on. Well, the person come is so powerful that it ends up um, destroying one of the person comes that they're trying to hook it up to. So he destroys the little person come and erases all of her data and stuff like that. Basically fried it. Um, anyway, they meet um, another guy. He's a little bit younger, but he knows so much about all these Persicons because he got all of them and anyone that you can imagine. And they go and try to see if he can get it turned on. And he tries to get it turned on, and he ends up killing four of his Persicons. And they're actually life size, personal size, as um, as the ones that he had. So, like I said, this specific person come that he has it is strong and it can kill all these other person comes well not kill but crash all these other person comes anyway he eventually gets it uh, turned on and when he gets it turned on he they all figure out that she doesn't have any memory so it's like he has a brand new baby and he has to teach this person come everything and the only thing that she knows how to say is G and that's what he ends up calling her is G so with that, throughout the series, it's just um, him meeting more uh, female friends and them helping him um, with the person come into more daily um, life um, structures that it goes on to more of as uh, um, helping learn how to bathe. All she knows is that she wants to find love and that it is a love out there for her who's going to love only her and just her and that's it the one for me yes this is uh it's it's the saying that she always say this is the one for me he's going to love uh, well no, i'm not even gonna say he this person is gonna love me and only me that's how she says it me and only me and so like that so anyway um the whole gist of it is just to see if humans can fall in love with persicoms more so than humans because it is um, a little bit of, I wouldn't say a debate, but it's a little bit of a um, situation as to where it's brought up multiple times if he was to love a person come more than a human or if he likes the human more so than a person come. So I will say throughout watching this series is great something to start off with anime but also please pay attention when it gets towards the end because it can be a bit confusing the last five episodes of it um, it's 25 episodes to the season so it can get it can get a little tricky and it can be somewhat I want to say a controversy but it's going to be a bit debatable between you and your friends so that's what I have to say about Chobits I liked it the ending could have been a little bit <laughs> more clear but that's what I started with. I actually stuck through it, y'all. I watched the whole 25 seasons. I enjoyed it. So, yeah, there we go. The anime I chose was Blood Sea. Blood Sea um, is an anime that was in collaboration with IG Production. 
and it's not considered the normal clamp work just because it doesn't have a manga like every other clamp publication that they have. Um, Blood Sea is a very interesting anime. It has 12 episodes in one movie. It's interesting because a lot of the themes that Clamp normally explores doesn't necessarily fit in Blood Sea. Um, a lot of Clamp productions deal with the different types of love and different types of socially acceptable behaviors regarding relationships, whereas Blood Sea doesn't really follow that. Um, one thing that makes it a Clamp pr production other than like the people working on it is that it also it has the main theme of fate and what your fate determines. The main character's name is Saya. She is a creature, not necessarily human, and um, it just talks about how she comes to terms with who she is and what she is, and it basically tells the basic question of if you're born to do something, can you change? Um, my problem with the anime isn't necessarily the storyline. The storyline is beautiful. But I will say that it is, um, you won't appreciate the whole beauty of the anime until you've watched all of the episodes plus the movie. It doesn't necessarily follow what you think it's going to follow. Another good reason that this is a really good anime is because like me, I'm a very big horror fan. And if you like Attack on Titan, if you like horror, if you like killing, this is the anime for you. Um, the character design, I will say, is a lot better in the movie than in the TV show. One crazy thing about the movie versus the series is that the movie was um, a little bit more advanced in the style that it was created, even though that the series and the movies had a year difference. Um, so that was pretty cool. With the way that the movie starts off is, is really nice. All in all, I will say that Blood Sea is one of those animes that if you are not into gore or um, odd things happening, it's not for you. If you did not like Attack on Titan, you will not like this because it is extremely gory. It's very bloody. It's blood splattering everywhere. People are being dismembered. Monsters are being dismembered. It's a lot going on. So if you want something that is more in Clamp's style to where it's, you know, a lot more story based, I wouldn't suggest this. But if you like, you know, nasty, gory, and crazy things and fighting, if you like a lot of fighting, you will love Blood Sea. The story is not as developed as what I've heard from other Clamp productions, but I still think it's a good story. Um, I feel like if you did have a story that was as complex as the character design, character development, and the um, the animation itself, it would kind of get boggled down. Um, so it's good that their story isn't as complex as their others' works. Um, I will say that the animation style is beautiful. Um, even though it is very gory, it is still a very beautiful anime to watch. If you like that, you'll love this. It's only 12 episodes in a movie, so you can binge watch it in about a day and a half. Um, the movie is an hour and 50 minutes. Uh, each episode is 22 minutes, so you should be able to be to get it through. Um, other than that, I think the all overall arching themes are there. It's just you kind of have to watch it. And I will say that there is a crazy twist at the end, so don't be upset if when you start it, it's kind of slow and kind of like you, you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to watch this. Keep watching it. It's really good. The ending is really good, and then the movie is amazing. So, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the end of our episode today. Um, but before we go, we want to do a giveaway. So, uh, for those who don't know, this is Mokona. It's one of the um, mascots that Glam has created in many of their series. Actually, Mokona is the name of one of the manga artists in the four of Clam. So we decided that we wanted to make a little giveaway. <laughs> so if you follow us on our YouTube channel, if you subscribe and like this video, and also if you follow us on Instagram at to weep or not to weep, 
you can be entering and a giveaway to get this plushie of Makona. Yes. And don't forget to comment as soon as you do all three steps. Alright, so once you have all those three steps, send us a message on Instagram so how we can get you your Mokona. Alright, so thank you so much for watching our video. And also, if you have any other suggestions on things we can watch and things we should do, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.